Hello guys, welcome to my video series tutorial to talk about Microsoft Sematic Kernel. In this video, I am going to talk about how to integrate a kernel memory into our Sematic Kernel application. In kernel memory, one of our video talk about this feature, kernel memory. I think uh, this is the 19th video. Here we used uh, one of PDF document. We import document. Based on that, we send our query and we get the result. This is a kernel memory concept. Now we are going to use this kernel memory into our semantic kernel application. Let's start how to implement this feature. The first step I did here is previously here I created the kernel memory code. So I created the function called create kernel memory. The same code has been moved to here. Just I copy paste and the same document I am going to import the .pdf file and this function return the kernel memory. There is another one function called kernel builder. So here I created the kernel builder based on my config file information. So how to integrate a kernel memory into our kernel application. For that we have to use memory plugin component to connect between semantic kernel application plus kernel memory. For that you have to install the package called Microsoft semantic kernel plugin. So this plugin available under kernel memory package. First you have to install this package. So the first step I am going to call create kernel builder function to create the kernel object. So where kernel equal to create kernel builder. So here we created the kernel object. The next step we have to add the plugin. So kernel dot import import plugin from object so new memory plugin memory plugin here we have to pass kernel memory or you can pass different argument endpoint or service url you can pass it so here i am going to use the kernel memory only so here i pass kernel memory object here I called create kernel memory function the kernel memory function create all the steps and finally import the dotnet pdf file and return the kernel memory object so the kernel memory object use this mem memory plugin we are import into the kernel object that's it so we make the communication between kernel application plus kernel memory. This step I no need to call because this step we are directly call the kernel memory function. So I don't want to call this one. So just comment this function and this line also. The next step we are going to call the plugin to get the result. For that here I am going to write the code where result equal to await kernel dot invoke async function based on our argument we can pass it here I am going to use the plugin name only so pl which plugin which function and what is our parameter we have to pass it so here I did not specify my plugin name so the first step here I changed the code to pass a plugin name so name of plugin memory plugin so this is my plugin name so the same name I'm using here memory plugin second argument we have to pass the function name which function you want to invoke I'm going to invoke this function only ask so that is my second argument function name here ask ask and the third argument we have to pass our arguments so here new of kernel argument so the key is a question if you see like uh, if you go here here you can see the argument the first argument is a question so our key name should be here question 
I define input what is .NET. That's it. Here we get the result. So console dot write line result dot get value is a string. Fine. So our code has been ready. We run this application and see the result. I put the breakpoint line number 16 here. Import plugin. This is my startup project kernel memory SK. So set as this is a startup project. Start the application. Application started, file has been uploaded. Yeah, it's done. So we import the plugin, import plugin also done. Now we are pass our argument to the memory plugin. It's processing. Here we get the uh, result. Dot .NET general purpose development platform. So we get uh, some result from kernel memory. If we go to the result function, which function we called and we get the result. But there is other information is missing. The information sense what I mean here, if you go to our kernel memory program, I stop the application, ask function return the memory answer. In this memory answer, we get the source information also. Though. So the where our result is present. So I asked the question, what is .NET? We get relevant source also. So which document, like in PDF, which PDF it's found the result. Those information available in the relevant source but this information is missing if you use this memory plugin concept. So we cannot achieve this one. So how to get this source related information that we'll talk about in our next video. Thanks to all.